Hello everyone, so today I'm gonna show you how to cut salmon for nigiri and how to make nigiri. If you have watched my previous videos, you would already have seen how to take out the filet, the one that you see in the video. So like I said in my previous video, uh, to cut nigiri, you have to always measure the four fingers. This is the standard size of the nigiri. So here I'm going to cut the similar way using the forefinger, the measurement. Uh, so I'm going to cut, this is the belly part, so which is the most uh, used for nigiri. Uh, only if you don't have the belly part, maybe you can use the tail part of the salmon, which you will see in a moment. So there is a different way to cut different part of salmon for nigiri this belly part is easy you just measure the forefinger and you just and cut it like in the video i show you make sure it's not so thick like sashimi and it's not so thin So here I'm just going to speed up the video so that you don't have to watch this all for too long. So now this is the tail part. So basically the technique of cutting nigiri is a little different than the way we cut for the belly part. Here you have to give the knife a little a bit like in 30 degree angle compared to the salmon and then again the salmon it should be the nigiri size should be almost like four finger because when we cut the tail part we cannot make exact four fingers so but then once you practice do it every day you will know like how big is the four finger uh, how big you need to cut the nigiri so here it is roughly four finger so it is good So here, now I'm taking two pieces of nigiri from the belly part and then two pieces of nigiri from the tail part and I'm gonna make and show you how it looks like and how we need to make nigiri. So basically we need to make the rice almost in that size, like it should not be lots of rice because then you will feel like you're just eating a rice. So you make sure the nigiri rice is not too big and then you keep the salmon in the fingers uh, at the middle of the finger you see and then the rice also just at the middle of the salmon nigiri so then you turn it around and you just press a little bit M maybe you look uh, you s feel like i'm pressing a lot but i'm just pressing really lightly you cannot press rice or you cannot press the nigiri too hard the, nigiri should be very soft and also while eating it should be really soft so if you're thinking that i'm pressing rice really hard no it's really i'm just touching but in the video it looks like i'm really pressing hard you see you just touch slowly slide make the shape of the rice come right like exactly how it needs i use my pointing finger to make sure the rice below it has a shape of kind of uh, you know how I say the opposite of umbrella is like a, it should not be flat when you keep the nigiri on the t on the plate or on this uh, chopping board the nigiri should not be flat the below nigiri should be like kind of going upward you will s you will see in moment after I will show you. You see here the rice is not exactly flat 
thank you for watching guys please don't forget to subscribe